So, John, John sent me an email and he said, look, there's one thing I could like dream for and wish for is that, you know, my students leave this class, all right, and believe and feel like success, okay, is not something that happens to other people. That success is actually, you know, in your hands, okay? Now, it is, but I'll tell you, it's not entirely in your hands because it turns out that there are a number of, of things that are important here. So first, if you set out to make a fortune, you probably won't, okay? If you set out to make a difference in the world, you will, and you might make a fortune, okay? Number one. Number two. Um, you got to know what you're about, and you have to have a strategy for your life. And I think there are two fundamental strategies. There's one that I call connecting dots, and there's another one that's called paint by numbers. And I will describe these in a minute. But you got to know which one you are, okay? And if you're one and you choose the other, you know, you're going to have a problem, right? So you got to be kind of realistic about who you are in the the strategy that you, um, you create for yourself in your life. Um, third is that I think these are the three things that matter most. Curiosity, curiosity, persistence, and good fortune, you know. I'm a kind of a spiritual guy, not super religious guy, but a spiritual guy, and I think these are called blessings, all right? These are the things that you cannot control. So I can be persistent. I can be curious. I, that's me. That's about me and what I am about and what I can control, all right? But I can't possibly control blessings and good fortune. It, you know. So now, that can sound like a pretty desperate sort of thing, right? It's like, all right, I'm going to do my best, but if I don't get lucky, I'm, I'm hosed. No. Here's what it is. It's like if you ascribe and attribute over 50% of the outcome that you'll see in your life to good fortune, then what that will do is it'll first, of all, first keep you humble, feet on the ground, all right? And secondly, it'll have you focus on the things that you can control. And when you focus on the things you can control, it's amazing how much good fortune you'll have. If that makes sense. Um, next is, uh, I think, always see yourself as a student and always understand that success is a work in process always in your life. Okay. So, John, I tried to put it on one page, okay? And um, so, this is my formula, you know, and my opinion, and now I'll try to, you know, uh, bring this to life a little bit, maybe on a personal basis. So, you got to know, you got to have a strategy. All right, so, kind of an ugly picture. It's very, really, really old. Um, so, there's paint by numbers, all right? So, you know, when I was a kid, I had, you know, aunts and uncles, especially aunts, that liked to sort of bring gifts over at Easter or whatever, and they love bringing these paint by numbers, you know, sort of kits. And look at that. It's like, you can see what that is, right? It's... It's, it's a house and, you know, uh, with a nice front yard and maybe that's some snow on there or a walkway, I'm not sure what it is, but, and I see all those numbers and I match those numbers to the, to the paints that are in the kit and if I just sort of follow a prescribed course, I'm going to get a good picture, all right? That's the picture of your life. That's the picture you're trying to create in your life. And that's one way to do it. Um, scientists, professional like doctors, lawyers, this is, the, th this is the core strategy in a life like that, at least, you know, what sets people off in that direction, right? I want to be X, and there's a prescribed way to do it. And so, you know, X is the picture, and the prescribed way are matching the numbers with the colors, okay? Okay. Um, the other one is connecting dots. Now, so it's like, hey, it's kind of cat in the hat, but you know, 
maybe this one is pretty obvious, but this is about starting in a place and getting to the next place and then figuring out what the next place is and the next place and the next place is, all right? And you know, to do that, you've got to actually, you know, do a lot of things that are coming from a place that's not digital. It's coming from kind of the analog self. So first of all, choosing well. Choosing, making those incremental decisions around the next dot to go to. Now, um, how do you do that? Well, you have to have beliefs that, you, you know, that you're passionate about and, uh, and principles. Because what happens, you know, and what happen has happened in my life over and over again is, you know, this sort of ambiguity of things that happen. It's like the only way to actually make good sequential decisions is to have a common set of principles you're always going back to, all right? And by the way, you know, when you're starting out, you don't have a lot. You know, you may have the ones that you are taking from home, all right? Or what you heard your mom or your dad say, or, or a professor, a mentor that you respect. That's great, you know? Uh, role models and copying other people that you respect and admire is an awesome way to go fast. Because you, then you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Okay? So this is an important aspect of connecting dots. Uh, third, I talked a little bit about persistence, but also practice. You know, um, there's a great book uh, called Outliers. Have any of you read it? Okay, okay. So there's an idea in the book about 10,000 hours, right? All right. That's practice. And the more you compress it, right, then, and the earlier you compress it in your career, the more you leverage it over the time of your career. And how do you do that? Well, passion for something that you love, right? Persistence, because it won't be easy, all right? Because mom or dad, you know, said, no, I want you to be this, not that, or I want you to, you know, get a, a, a real job, not a startup job, or I don't, whatever, all right? So you gotta be very persistent, and then practice, and that, there's no shortcut. It's thousands of hours. Thousands and thousands of hours. You wanna be a great, you know, pianist, violinist, it's thousands of hours. A great golfer, thousands of hours. A great entrepreneur, thousands of hours. A great software uh, engineer, thousands, et cetera, et cetera, you know? Designer, artist, it doesn't matter. Practice, all right? Um, fourth is about family and mentors, all right? I believe, and that is to understand that, you know, a family is kind of the people that believe in you, that put you out there, all right? And help you bridge hard times and make it easier to be persistent. And mentors are the people who, you know, you're copying, basically. It's like, hey, I respect that person or that company, and so I'm going to make my company or myself like that person, right? Uh, I grew up in a really modest home. I, you know, my uh, dad's an electrician, all right? Uh, my parents still live in a 1,200-square-foot home that, you know, grew up in, all right? And, um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, we're yeah, kind of a middle working-class family. And so as I went along in my career, I found myself in places where I'd sit down to dinner and people were all dressed up and there were three forks on one side and three knives and two spoons and five glasses and I'm looking around saying, what do I do? Nobody ever taught me this stuff, right? And so what did, what did I do? I just sat back and I said, that guy or that woman or that guy, they, they've been here before, okay? And I'm going to follow their lead. Okay? So they picked up that fork, I picked up that fork. All right? So, you know, maybe I didn't get to finish everything that was served because I was a little behind, but I learned. Right? So that's about mentors and role models and, you know, how it's a shortcut to becoming something that you believe in. All right? Um, and then, as I said uh, earlier, you know, you got to have luck and have a lot of blessings along the way. So this is what connecting dots is about. Now, most parents hate this because it's ambiguous, all right? Hey, you know, 
I didn't pay all this money for you to go to college to get out there and wander around as in an ambiguous world, you know. No, like, what are you going to be? What are you going to do? A lot of parents do that, okay? And, you know, that's uh, hard. It, it, it creates a hard situation. And uh, you know, we have three incredible children in their, you know, late 20s, 28, uh, 26, and 25. And, uh, you know, I'm a connect the dots kind of person. And uh, my bride of 32 years is a paint by numbers person. So my, our children have it tough, all right? Because they're sort of caught in the crossfire of these two fundamental ideas. But it's not what strategy is right. It's that if you're a paint by numbers person, go with it. You know, if you're a connect the dots person, go with it. It's just that oftentimes parents want you to be paint by numbers because it's less ambiguous, it seems more certain, okay? And therefore, lower risk and parents want the best for their children. You know, no one wants their children to go through the hard times that they went through, but guess what? Everyone does. Everyone does. And so, you know, decide, and then once you have this model in your head, you know, it makes, it, it frees you, it sets you free. Because then it's like, no, this is how I'm gonna do this. It's a strategy, it's a strategy. And we've built a big company on this strategy, by the way. I haven't shown this picture in many years, by the way, but this is a picture of me, NC State, September 1972, okay? And uh, there I am, all right? Uh, boy, I had a hair, I had a hair. Let's zoom in there, all right? <laughs> and you, you know, so um, there, there I was, and, uh, and so, you know, I, when I show this to John and I look at it now and I feel the same way, it's like, I'm still that person, okay? My body is a lot older, <laughs> but I'm still that person, all right? Um, I'm that person that has optimism, okay? I see a, a better future all the time. I'm always thinking about a better future, okay? I'm an optimist, all right? Um, which leads to a smile, all right? And, uh, as the saying goes, smile. It increases your face value, okay? <laughs> so, you know, but smiling is, you know, the person within, all right? And it's that optimism, all right? And so that's the same. And the third thing is down here, all right? I, I still am passionate about technology, making a difference in the world, helping people work better and live better, all right? And doing it, you know, in a genuine way where it's like, it's not about money. It's about doing something good that I believe in. So, you know, so be yourself, okay? And, you know, celebrate it this way, all right? And then make sure you get these pictures so that when you're up here, you know, 10 or 15 years from now, you can, you know, put up a picture like that.